Now the next thing I want to do is figure out the tempo of the recording. And I want to do that as accurately as possible, so I'm going to measure it in BPM, that's beats per minute. Um, so if you look at the bottom here, the BPM in Logic is currently set to 120, that's a default. And if we listen to it with the metronome on, you can hear that the metronome has almost no bearing to the recording. So what we need to do is figure out what BPM to put in here. Now one way you can do that is to listen to the beat for 15 seconds, multiply what you hear by 4, and then you, your new number gives you the BPM. Because of course 15 seconds is a quarter of one minute. And since BPM is beats per minute, the number of beats you hear in 15 times 4 is the number of beats you hear in 60 seconds. Um, so that gets you your BPM in quite an easy way. A slightly more dependable way of doing this is to do what I'm doing here and use a beat tapper, a BPM tapper, where I just hit this uh, large white circle every time I hear a beat in the recording, and then it tells me the BPM in this box here. So I'm going to switch off the metronome because I don't want to confuse myself, and hit play, and then start tapping along. So you can see on my BPM tapper, it's come out as between 83, 84 and 85. So let's have a listen to what it sounds like at 84, halfway through, halfway between those results. See instantly the image of the screen changes, I'll do that again. So look at the waveforms and how they line up with the grid, I change it to 84. So that is lining up much, much better, but I do feel that the start of the bars are in the wrong place, so I'm going to gamble that the time signature of this should actually be 2-4. So let's have a listen to that. Oh, except I want that to happen all the way through, so I need to do that from the start of the project. So let's have a listen here. So that looks very accurate to me in terms of matching up. I'd say this recording was almost certainly done at 84 BPM in whatever sequence the DJ Shadow was using. So that is how you figure out the BPM and how you set the BPM grid in Logic to match.